Hey guys, how you all doing today? Tyler here, Aliens Rock 50, and welcome to a Balloons TV 5 video. First one in a while, doing something a little bit different. Saw a lot of comments on the past few videos uh, with challenges involving a temple, whether it be earliest temple, earliest max temple, yada yada yada. So I decided I'm gonna do a couple videos about this because there's a lot of ways you can do this. Unfortunately, in battles, you cannot get the max temple unless you play on Flash, I believe. And even then you have to go five towers, but on BTD5, however, you can go for max temple. So I had the idea, let's go for the earliest max temple of all time while uh, doing naps. For those who don't know what naps means, it means no agents, premiums, and specialties. So yeah, earliest temple of all time, we're using zero agents, zero premiums. I mean, if you really want to count the, the, the tokens from... You know, the, the token bonuses, like couple extra lives, couple extra starting cash as a premium. Okay, whatever, that's fine. But honestly, they had no effect on the game. You could definitely do the same strategy without the tokens. And no specialty buildings. Well, I guess I had a ninja specialty build building up. But that doesn't fucking matter now, does it? You don't see any ninjas now, you, do you? Well, I guess the whole point of ninjas is that they're like invisible and sneaky. But still, no ninjas, okay? Anyways. Early's Temple, we're on Brick Road, easy, starting out the Engineer because Engineer is bomb ass at just destroying the early game balloons. It worked really well for the uh, Ray of Doom video, and now it's gonna just carry me through here. I'm getting a second Engineer, just at 0-0, no real upgrades, and I'm just going ham on farms because we gotta get this temple early. I mean, we're still not slacking off. We are gonna try to get this temple as soon as possible. And the overall total cost of a max temple is somewhere around 250,000, 275,000, uh, depending on how you go about it. Maybe even more, maybe even close to 300,000. So that's a lot of money I have to get. Now I'm getting up my village so I can get a cheaper 4-2 farm. Because that's pretty important, slowing stuff down just to make sure I sell at the right time. There we go, 4-0 farm, and I guess we'll upgrade to 4-2 in a couple rounds. Gotta wait for that money to come in. Maybe it would have been better to just save for the 4-2 farm, I don't know. It's really hard to count. I didn't do the math for that. I should have, because I usually do the math before these kinds of videos. But whatever, we have the 4-2 farm now, so we are doing A-OK. -okay. Those engineers are still curing me. I'm getting one more 1-0 farm, and that's it. No more. It's round 27, we have to stop farms farming, because we have to start saving up. Getting that wizard in the back, and some of you might think you know what's going to happen, but do you really? Do you really know what's going to happen? Round 31 region farming? Nah, nah, bro. We are selling the engineers right now and preparing for round 29 defense, guys. This is where it gets difficult, all right? It was pretty easy to place those engineers and farm before, but now it is real tough. We got a tornado wizard in the back. We got glue and we got ice. We got the 0-3 glue gunner just to make sure it doesn't pop balloons. It just slows them. And we have 1-1 one -one ice towers that also will not pop balloons and slow them. So, you might be wondering, what the hell is going on here? And since you see a heli pilot, you may know what the heli is happening. Ah! <laughs> that was awful. Okay, I'm never making a bad joke again. Anyways, though, as you can see, I got a bunch of ice towers and now a couple glue gunners up. So, this round could take a while, don't you think? And once the if the round is taking a long time like it is right now... That's where the heli pilot comes into play. That, you see the right side ability that it has? It, it looks like a supply crate. That's a really, really cool ability. It allows, it, you press it and you get money or lives from it. Uh, it's every other, so first you get lives, or money, then you get lives, then, you know, repeat that pattern. And basically, you can just use that to get infinite money as long as the round keeps going. Now, we are still on this round 29. We have exactly one regen balloon left. And if you can't see exactly what's happening, <laughs> basically, the wizard is blowing the single pink regen back. And that is moving up a very, very slowly through the maze of glue and ice there. Uh, again, the glue is just 03, which, you know, will not pop the balloon. You don't want it to soak in through layers either. You just want to get it so you can just keep going with the heli pilots. I got four of them right now and even more just the max ability. And the more heli pilots you get, the faster you get the money. So you can see things are starting to um, shape up really, really well. So you might be wondering what exactly a max temple is for those who don't know. And the thing is the temple of the monkey god. For it to be the best temple ever, 
It has to be a max temple, which means you have to have the perfect sacrifices to it. Which is $30,000 of bomb towers, bomb or mortars, like explosion based towers. $30,000 worth of glue, $30,000 worth of ice, $30,000 worth of wizard. And then $30,000 of anything that's not that, so like miscellaneous. And of course you just get that temple, upgrade the four two with all those towers in the range, and wait for it, it's going to be a giant explosion pretty soon. Pausing for effect. Gotta be sure though that all these towers are within the range. I'm playing it extra careful because I actually fucked up one time before recording this. I did the entire regen farm and you know I forgot a uh, sacrifice. So now we have the max temple, end of round 29, but beginning of round 30. I don't care what you call it, it is definitely still the record. The earliest I've heard of anyone getting the max temple. Um, without agents premiums or specialties it was round 31 because they would just regen farm round 31. I didn't hear of anybody ever regen farming around 29 so I thought this was pretty fun and pretty cool to share with you guys that you can just kind of do that sort of method and get that max temple. So yeah that's uh, that's pretty sweet. It's just absolutely annihilating balloons right now we're just gonna put it on auto complete the rounds and just let this go through easy and yeah, so that's about it for the video guys. Uh, again, there will be a battles version of this. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do this, but it will involve getting a temple and normal assault mode as early as possible. I don't know if it's gonna be max, I don't know if it's gonna be some upgrades, I don't know if it's gonna be no upgrades. We'll see, whatever I feel like. But otherwise, after that, besides that sort of challenge, let me know if you guys have any other cool challenge things in mind, because I mean, we're, we're not just gonna settle for the earliest max temple for all, all time in uh, BD5. No, no, no. We're going for the stars. Uh, granted, I do think this could be beaten, maybe. I don't know, it's possible. You need to have like a much greedier opener than what I have, and I don't know how much greedier you can get. Um, if BD, BTD5 is ever fixed, so ice towers will freeze previously frozen balloons, and you just get a, you know, uh, permanent ice stall, then you could definitely do it earlier than this. The only reason I waited till around 29 is because um, that was the first round after I had the required money that actually had regen balloons. It didn't even have to be zebra regens, it could just be any regen. And, um,. Yeah, so that's about it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment again, and uh, and uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And that's about it. See you all next time. Peace out.